You might well turn back around. What's the word? No, I ain't know what's the word. You might well turn back around. You don't look nothing like how you look on social media. Don't do this. Look, no. You know, no. You might well turn back around, man. I'm not even don't laughing right now, man. Gang, I ain't even laughing with you. Let me see how you look on social media. This how she look on social media, y'all. Really? You just put really, bro. This is not you, bro. Bro, this is not you. Let me let them see how you look. I was gonna trick on her and everything. I was gonna, bro. I swear, I was gonna spend like at least eighteen low. bucks on you, bro. It, it ain't low. low. Nah, show them. <laughs> you in bars? Yeah, she in bars, y'all. She ain't show these people what you look like online, though. You told me to come nah, natural. Bro, you told me to come nah. natural. You said you like the natural look. Nah, bro. You just catfished me, bro. You said you like the natural look. I ain't know you had all this on you. I ain't know. What you got on? No, nah, bro. Come natural. Ain't no you way. Nah, natural. bro. Ain't Don't no way. It. Ain't Don't no way. Bro. Don't Y'all see this, bro? You not even all that yourself. Bro, y'all see this? I, I'm saying, though. I'm, I'm cool. I, I'm cool. You see how I came tramp. Look, but look at this, though. I look cool. Oh, uh, bro. I you even, told me to come natural. You could at least got your hair done, though. Like, what's... You said nah, natural. This nah, the natural look. Nah, bro. Nah, at least I ain't got nah, no, no, no weed nah, on You could have, you could have came, you could have got your hair done, you could have slid up on me, and then we could have talked, but, but now it's just like, you I can't... You said even, come natural. Uh, Bro, I can't even I can't even talk with you. I can't even talk to you right. Man. Like as I'm talking to you, I'm just looking at your heart. Like, no, nah, bro, I can't I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. You you, you wrong. You dead wrong. You should have booked you. Dead wrong. Nah, you should have booked. Did, how you gonna tell you me to come natural? You should have booked you an appointment before you came here, dog. You straight dead wrong. I can't, I can't even take you out to eat. I can't. It's crazy. You I can't take you out to eat with your head looking like you that, dog. You told me to come natural. Nah, bro. You, you straight. You foul. Natural. You wrong, bro. I can't bro. Even take you serious. I think you right did now. it on purpose, though. I straight think you did this on purpose, bro. That's that's not funny, bro. No, I don't think it's funny. You think it's funny? You think? Yeah. He told me to come back so she want to Do me a favor. Grab your phone. Grab your phone. Turn your camera on. Just to show you how much of a clown you look like. Look, look at yourself in, the, in that camera. You don't see nothing wrong with you? Natural. So you don't see nothing wrong? Natural. It's natural, natural. but like, you could have you flattered it natural. down. You could have took the dial to your head. You told me to come natural. Come on, bro. I just took my heart hey, on X metal. Man, go ahead, pull pull go, ahead pull go, ahead pull go ahead and pull off. Go ahead and pull off. Go ahead and pull off. Cause it's, it's just like me and you not clicking right now. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's your face or your hair. I don't know which one is it. That's that's crazy. Like you straight had me, bro. You straight, bro. You straight had me just, bro. You straight had me put on some drip. Don't have me drive for Bro, you know how long it took me to put on this drip. Man, it took me hours to put on this drip for you to be looking like man. Hey, go get your hair done, dog. This shit, man, I'm, I'm done hitting these females up online, bro. That ain't no good for me, bro. What's the lack of accountability? Like, all of the women in the comments are like, he ain't have to do all that and this, that, and the third. And she ain't that bad looking. Her hair not that bad. He say he wanted natural. That's natural. Come on, man. Stop the bullshit, bro. If they're supposed to go out to eat, ain't no way this man finna go in no restaurant with her looking like that. I'm on his side, bro. I wouldn't have pulled out no camera and showed the whole world. But, man, at, at the end of the day, if she'd have pulled up looking like that, it wouldn't have been no date. Hell no, got me messed up. First impressions means a lot. Women, I got a question. Why are you guys using the same exact game from like 2012? I'm talking about you never switched it up. All of you guys use the same default game. Doodoo -doo shirt, brown pants, 65 overall game. And it's as follows. Your body count is always three. You've been celibate for six months. The reason you've been celibate is because you're on this recent spiritual journey to find yourself. Your ex-boyfriend was toxic and controlling and he used to manipulate you and he's a narcissist. And when I talked to bro, he was cool, but he's actually a good guy. <laughs> you're so down to earth and you don't party and you're not like everyone else. Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up. And to think this still works and men are going to take you seriously, you have to be dumb. When I was single and I would hear this default game, I would instantly put her in the don't take serious category. I'm not tripping, but I'm just here to let y'all know that game is cooked. It's time to switch it up. Go get in the lab. Go have a meeting, a conference or something. That shit is cooked. Hey, it's been longer than that since they've been using it, bro. I'm in my mid-30s, dog. They were saying that shit when I was in college, bro. I was in college like in 2008. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, bro? Like, 
Come on, bro. Nah, it's the same thing. I only been with three dudes. I ain't been in nobody recently because I'm on this healing, spiritual journey, all that dumb. So they've been using that game at least since 2008. I never believed it, right? You, How can you believe it when you know dudes around campus hitting them with receipts? Come on, man. Oh, you been, real, you man. fucking bitches too. For real, man. Get at least I'm fucking, at least I'm fucking nigga. Man, get your you ass fucking bitches though. Who am I here with? Hey, yo, this Diddy call you. Layla Red Cakes. So look, what are y'all like? Best friends, couples, what are y'all? Bitch. This is, my, this, is, this is my bitch. How long y'all been together for? Shit, about four years. How was that four years? I got that right. How, how was that? Damn. <laughs> she ain't playing. She ain't wasting no time. <laughs> Listen, how was that four years been going for you? Man, I ain't been back since. Huh? See, I don't even know what dick feel like. Damn. I said, so you're like, <laughs> <laughs> damn. I said, right, so look, so what's one thing? I turn her again. Okay, okay. So what's one thing she do you don't like? Oh, uh, shit. Look at her. Look at her. She just be having little crazy ass attitudes, <laughs> embarrassing me in front of everybody sometimes. So that's what you don't like? Yeah. I say, what's one thing she do you don't like? Man, I know she be strapping other holes. Huh? She, I be smelling that shit. That shit don't be smelling like my shit. You feel me? <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> I can't never just, you know... Come to a conclusion, so I don't know. Yeah, what's, how much you trust her? Seven. What made you say that? Because I know she was hoeing before me. You said before you, though. Shit, shit don't change sometimes. <laughs> what's your, what's your, how much you trust her? I trust her. That's my bitch, man. I love her, man. What's ten. Ten. Oh, ten. damn. Oh, so why bitch. you can't trust her ten, though? I plead the fifth. You finna swap phones for six seconds. Huh? Go, you finna swap phones for six seconds. Y'all go through each other's phones. She'll go through your phone. You'll go through her phone. Oh, phone's about to die. Oh, oh yeah. No, no, it's not. Let me see. I'm yeah. like on 11%. We're going to go through that phone ASAP. Hey, stop playing, man. We got to charge it. No, you're not loyal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, what you doing? Let, let the phone go. Let the phone go. But we, get, huh. you getting my shit. Wait, don't go through her phone yet, though. We're going to do one by one, though. I can't help but think about that clip. From the other day, when that said, let's go and get couples. If you spend too much time together, you're going to end up with the I can't help but think about that clip from the other day that said, lesbian couples experience the most domestic violence, bro. It is what it is. But, you know, from all of the lesbian couples that I personally worked with, knew, went to school with, and stuff like that, bro, they all was messed up in the head, bro. Like, either the girl who used to like men used to get cheated on all the time get beat on get misused was in toxic relationships so they go to the other side thinking that a woman gonna be more understanding and she just as messed up as she is so they always end up putting their hands on each other and it's a whole bunch of infidelity it never fails bro y'all let me know am i tripping but like when dads reach like 35 40 do they just become like compulsive liars bro like just start lying for no reason like my dad be lying to me so much and my mom been telling me since I was a kid, like, your dad's a liar. But, like, now I'm getting my experience of it. Let me tell you about what he lied to me about recently, bro. So my dad has a nice SUV, uh, BMW, right? All white, right? And he'll tell me, like, yeah, son, anytime you need to use the car, da 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 you can use it. So I'm trying to take this girl on a date, probably, like, October, end of October, right? And my car is kind of small, right? So I'm like, y'all want to pick her up in the family to coupe. Like, yeah, you know, feeling good. Vibes is good, right? So I, uh, I'm, I go at my dad's house. He's not there. I'm like, hey, dad, can I use the car tonight? He like, uh, yeah, the keys is somewhere in the house. You know, you just got to find them and you good. I was like, right, cool, it's only going to be two hours of taking Shorty to the movies. So it gets to the point where I'm looking for the keys for the next 20 minutes. Like, I'm looking in my dad's jackets. I'm looking in, like, just everywhere underneath, the, like, the couch. And it got to a point where I had the couch in the air like this, looking underneath. And I'm like, that nigga got the keys on him right now. <laughs> Having me look for him around his fucking house. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to stop looking for like the next five to 10 minutes and just see what happens, right? Then I get a text on my phone. Actually, son, no, you can't use it today. Uh, my heat about to get cut off and I need to keep me and the dog warm using the car. James, what? Mind you, it's the end of October. It's probably 65 degrees outside, but it, it's not a fucking blizzard. And you and the... You need the car to keep you and the dog warm. It's been a month. I haven't spoken to my dad since. <laughs> I didn't even respond. I just stopped. I, I'm not talking to you. Man, listen, bro. See, I don't understand no man that'll do nothing like that. Because me personally, bro, I would have never told you you could use my damn car if I'm never planning on letting you use it. And I would have never let you look for the damn keys for no 20 minutes to only tell you that I got the keys and me and my dog got to be in there to keep warm in 65 degree weather. Come on, bro. You ain't dealing with no real man, bro. You dealing with a dude that's got some issues, bro. I'm keeping it real with you because we don't do no shit like that. Dated men. They are, they were extremely faithful to me. Were they ugly? No, <laughs> oh my God. Mac, you yeah. super faithful to mm -hmm. me. But it's like a lot of people, you know, when I, when I, that whole cheating scandal came out, a lot of people was like, you deserve somebody faithful. But just because somebody like extremely faithful don't make you happy because 
That's true. The guys that were extremely faithful to me, it just didn't work out. Mm -hmm. You just need to find somebody that you really in love with and make you happy. Because I have dated. Hey, bro, y'all can sit up there and listen to their words or you can watch their actions, bro. She said she dated faithful guys. They were boring. They didn't love her the way she wanted to be loved. So she need to offset a dude that's going to be a serial cheater, dog. A lot of women need that, especially women that come from toxic situations like that. This is a former stripper, bro. You got to have a certain mindset to even be in a strip club being but naked exposed in front of strange men every day for a living come on man you ain't up you ain't right in the head if that's your occupation men in different countries they ain't checking for y'all i could go overseas and find me a woman that i'm looking for mm -hmm. i'm gonna be honest with you american women do not have that luxury as far as a wife they not checking for y'all don't come with the qualities that they want what? first of all y'all don't even want to be wise right. like nowadays like yeah i don't know how to treat a man y'all so independent and don't need a man like, i've <laughs> talked talk to human men in real life that said american women is a no absolutely not why would they leave their women who are raised to treat their men and be cooperative right. for an american woman wow. unless they're trying to get a green card and if that's the case so you want somebody to cater <laughs> Oh, yeah, I need, I need somebody to cooperate and cater to me. Okay. Men in general, globally, want submissive women. You will get triggered. American women will. They, y'all getting triggered. You're getting triggered right now. So, and and your your response right now is going to be, oh well, y'all want a slave. Women in other countries are not looking at submission as I'm a slave. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the main issues why foreign men are not checking for American women. So y'all don't have that luxury unless y'all unless y'all y'all getting a man because he got a, he want a green card and at that point y'all taking care. Real talk, son. Like they got a couple of unicorns in America, but bro, you'll be hard pressed to find you a woman that's gonna even cook your home cooked meal, bro. I don't care how hard of a hard working man you are, bro. They not gonna do it. <laughs> Straight up, dog. Barely get them to clean up. All kind of stuff, man. And you know, I guess that's why a lot of dudes do go overseas because women gonna do the stuff that need to be done over there, bro. Over here, you know. It's just too easy for him. I don't know if y'all remember the story about me talking about I had gave a guy my number. Um, y'all can look back on my page. So we've been texting or whatever. And this is my last time telling y'all stories about my dating life. I'm moving on next year, okay? But we've been texting. And I'm like, okay, well, um, he asked me to go out. Um, and I'm like, okay, cool. And he suggested a place, but I don't care for that place because it's a lot of familiar faces. Um, so I'm like, well, let's go here. It's 30 and up. Um, it's a nice little vibe. Like sometimes they play live music and stuff like that. We on FaceTime. So he looks at me and I'm like, what? And he like, I'm 27. Guys, to say that they think that they so much smarter than us, did it never dawn on her that maybe she should figure out how old is the person she is talking to, dealing with, considering going out in public with? You That never thought to cross your mind, bro? I want to know about the people that I deal with. I don't care if it's a business relationship or a personal relationship. How old are you? Where you from? All kind of shit. Where you grew up. I need to know this kind of thing because if ever I got to come looking for you, I know where to start. But on top of that, it's just common sense. You should know these things about the people you're dealing with. Clothes that pulls no bitches. You already did the haircuts that will leave you pussy oppressed, so I feel like it's only right to do one with the clothes. Let me know in the comment section if you ever wore any of these things before. Now let's do it. If you own a pair of Chuck Taylors, let me know in the comment section right now. Are you in a relationship? I already know the answer is gonna be no. Motherfuckers with these shoes don't get no bitches. Let me tell you something about motherfuckers who wear Rick Owens. They can dress, but when it's time to get bitches, they're in desperation. This will be the niggas that will pop out in a two thousand dollar outfit, all black on some opium shit. Go to a function and have social anxiety. Get your bum ass on. Bro, I am not smelling this shit. Then we have Crocs. Me and you both know you don't get no vagina with this shit. This is a pussy repellent. I cringe anytime I see someone with purple jeans with the tag on them, bro. Yo ass is weird as shit. And the females can probably vouch for me in the comment section. Once they see this tag on your pants, bro, they should get desert dry. This shit is corny as fuck. I got a homie who have all the drip in the world. Rick Owens, purple jeans. Yeah, he get real fly. I invited him to a two-man. This motherfucker shy as hell. He not speaking. He performing like Monte Ellis. Y'all motherfuckers who be having these shits really don't got 
got them for the bitches. Y'all got these shits for other men to think you're cool, bro. This shit is weird. Bro, the truth of the matter is this, man. The hot women, the fine women definitely care about your presentation and your package, bro. Straight up. And if you got on Crocs, man, it's not saying a lot about you. It's not saying that, hey, I'm a guy that want to be respected and I have a presence about myself. Crocs is okay to wear. If that's your thing, keep doing you. It's these hoes, man. <laughs> Forget them. But if you trying to get some women and you out, bro, the Crocs is not going to do it for you, bro. Unless you got damn Denzel Washington in his prime, six foot three. Yeah, they probably eat your pads then. But if you're an average size guy, average look, Crocs ain't going to get it. <laughs> Story time. So I remember when my ex decided that he was going to try to be slick and save a girl name under a man name in his phone so I wouldn't know he was cheating on me. Now, I knew something was going on, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could never catch him in the act. And I'm one of them people who wanted to be clear as day, okay? Picture this, we were both butt naked, banging on a bathroom floor. Baby, I want to be standing in the doorway. Because when I bring it to the table, you better believe I'm coming with nothing but the hits. Okay, nothing but the hits. Baby, I said to myself, myself said, huh? Said, go through that phone and look under the male names. Why? I don't know, but I did it. Now, to have a girl name saved under a male name and still be calling her by her actual name is crazy. You didn't alert the others. You didn't tell them that they were under investigation. So, you know what I did? I changed it back. Okay, how are we supposed to know who calling us if you gonna have it under the wrong name, silly? <laughs> you so silly. Let me put it back for you. Every time that phone ring, I feel like I turned into an owl. The way my neck did a 360 degree turn to ask, who's that? She ain't called yet. So he feeling good. He feeling confident. He being nonchalant with the phone. Oh, he leaving it right beside me and stepping off. Trying to show me he's trustworthy. But baby, let me tell you this. Patience is a virtue, okay? Because before you know it, it was lights, camera, Action! The surround sound of disbelief on this man's face when Ashley's name popped up on the phone was worth waiting for. I said, Ashley calling? You gonna answer it, Ashley on the phone? Ashley calling right here, you see it? Ashley right here, she calling, you gonna answer the phone? He said, I don't know no Ashley. I said, that's crazy because somebody gotta save the name under Ashley and oh, just so happens somebody did that. So I told him, <laughs> I just did you a favor and changed it back. Because how you going to know who actually calling if you keep saving the numbers under the wrong name? It could be a state of emergency. It could be serious. You don't know who calling. I'm trying to help you out. Now answer the phone. Y'all, I lied to you not. That man threw that phone clean over the balcony. I didn't do nothing but go down there and get it. I said, hello, Ashley. Yo, she did all that, bro. She went as far as to go in the phone, change it from a male's name to an actual female's name and stayed with the guy up until that point. That is crazy to me. You know, I forgot who said it, but I think it was I Love Dorsey or somebody. She was like, women love dating the bad guys because it gives them uh, some uh, a scapegoat for when the relationship doesn't work out. She can run to the world like she's doing right now to say, hey, he messed over me. He was such a bad guy. But man, come on. You knew before you found the shit in the phone that he was doing what he was doing. So it proves her point, man. They like bad guys so that they could place blame on them and point the finger. What would you do if you was with a girl for a couple of years and she was like, hey, let's have a kid. And you're like, okay, cool, let's go do it. And then like, y'all keep trying and keep trying. It's just not working, you know what I'm saying? And like, y'all try for like four or five months. And um, eventually it, like, it, like, it works. So like, y'all happy, y'all celebrating and shit. Like y'all went on a trip, everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything's going good. You know, going to doctor's appointments, making sure the baby's clean, make, not, not clean, make sure the baby's healthy, make sure your girl's healthy. And... It gets to the nine month mark, and then out of out of nowhere, her water just break. Like, wow, y'all just out doing something, so y'all rush to the hospital. You know, you doing like one fifty in a in a seventy type shit, like just rushing there because you know she about to have a baby. So y'all get there in time, you know what I'm saying? They they take her to the room, they had a kid, and then you go there with them because obviously you got to see the birth of your child, right? Now, mind you, this is like hypothetically, this is like the tone of your skin, right? Um, and your girl is like lighter than you. And uh, she has a baby, and a baby come out um, like five shades darker than you are. And the doctor is like holding a baby, and the doctor look at you. He's holding a baby. He look at you. He's like, uh, is this like your family member or something? She's like, um, that's my that's that that's my fiance. And you like you just looking at her. Cause last time last time you checked, you ain't had that much melanin in you. And she most definitely did it. So where's this surplus of melanin coming from? 
and a doctor just looks at you one more time and just like, you know, take the baby to the room and you're just looking at your girl and she's like, I'm sorry. And she just don't say nothing else. She just like, just says, I'm sorry and just start crying. So you just walk out, you call your mom, your mom was happy for you. And uh, you tell your mom the news and she was like, I knew she was going to do that to you, man. Like, what, what, was you, what was you doing in this situation? Man, first of all, I be mad at her and my mama because why my mama knew she was going to do that to me and then they warned me about it. And guess what? I'm trying to think about how many black people I know who are both light-skinned and the baby came out five sh shades darker than them. Last time I checked, that don't happen too often. Matter of fact, you know, I've seen dark-skinned people, like a dark-skinned couple have a light-skinned baby, but that's that can happen because one of their mama can be light-skinned, but going up in the melanin category and both of y'all alone nah that don't happen too often but i will say this though get that dna test make her a single mother straight up it is what it is 